So, ladies and gentlemen, when we're doing dividing with multi digits, um, the basic idea and premise that we need to make sure we cover is we're going to take our number, and what we're going to do is try to keep on moving, moving, take moving from left to right until we find a did until we find a number that we can evenly divide into. So 81 obviously does not divide into one, right? But we have more digits, so we move over. Does 81 divide into two? Or into, I'm sorry, 12? No. No. But does 81 divide into 124? Absolutely. Yes, it does. And it divides into 124 times one time. So you keep on making it larger until you find the smallest number that it divides into. Then you take 1 and multiply it by 81. Okay. Then, once you've taken 1 times 81, now you subtract your two rows. And if you want to put a 0, eh, let's not worry about it. Let's just subtract your two rows. So I have 1, and then this becomes 43. OK? Oh, I'm sorry, 43. What is the 1? Jeez. No, you're subtracting. Yeah, I multiplied 1 times 81. OK? So, huh? We'll get to those. So now I subtract 43. Does 8, I'm sorry, does 81 divide into 43? No. no. So I bring down the 8. How many times does 81 divide into 438? Yes? Five times. Now, how'd you figure that out in your head? OK, well, I, would, I just want to think about you know, what are some things that you guys can do to help you out mentally? Because, um, yes? Um, I thought it was 143. No, 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 because remember, here you subtract, right? Mm -hmm. Here you can't subtract 8 from 2, right? Oh, you borrow, so you'd have to borrow, borrow, and that's borrow. why we got rid of that one. Okay. Now, I if, I was, if you're thinking about doing large things, how many times does 81 go into 4, 438? That can be pretty difficult. So what I would recommend, ladies and gentlemen, is writing, writing down the multiples of 81. You guys can all double by 2, right? You guys like multiplying by 2. That's fairly simple, right? So what's 81 times 2? It would be 162. OK, and then if I just keep on adding to add, you could either do it this way. You could either keep on multiplying by 2 and kind of see where it fits in that range, or keep on adding 2, because, or keep on adding 81, I'm sorry. If I add 81 again to this, 162 plus 81, that's going to give me 200 and 243. Add 81 again, I'll have 300 and 24, add 81 again, I have, so now, so far, it's gone in there one, two, three, four, five times. Does it go six? No. So if I went six, that would be 486. So therefore, George is right. It only divides into there four times. All right, so when you guys are thinking about multiplication, don't five like, times, times. yeah, it goes in there five times. It's going to have a remainder. Don't you know, try to get in there and try to guess where exactly it's going to be. Just keep on like, listing those multiples. So therefore, it goes in there five times. 5 times 81, we said, was 405. Subtract 33. Does 81 divide into 33? No. No. Well, guess what? We have no more digits, do we? So since we have no more digits to bring down, that is where our decimal point comes in. And once we have our decimal points, we have unlimited zeros we can bring down, right? Because we can continue this decimal as long as we want to. We're only going to do it to the 10th for this class unless otherwise noted. So let's just bring down one zero. And what's nice about bringing this in is how many times does 81 divide into 330? Four. And that technically would be like your, you know, when you subtract that in there, and then four times 81, you can just continue on and on and on and on again. I mean, you, it's, you once you put the zero, yeah, okay. it's on a, unlimited zeros you can bring down. And you can just keep on doing this process. 4 times 81 is 324. Subtract 6. And just keep on doing the process over and over again. Once you've run out of digits, then you put the decimal point, and then you can borrow as many zeros as you need to, or as you want to. OK? All right, guys, I have one last example.